Many people do not know that throughout the Second World War, thousands of courageous women were fighting or struggling at the front lines. Today, I'll reveal incredible and inspiring narratives of captured women soldiers during World War II, focusing on the incredible bravery of the girls and the tragic price they paid for freedom. Women played significant roles that were very essential throughout the Second World War. They served as nurses, radio operators, mechanics, pilots, spies, and in any other capacity that they possibly could. Since many men had gone to join the military forces, women had no other choice than to assume these important positions, thereby proving their strength and ability. Now, let us explore the different positions that women occupied during the war. Each role was important and contributed significantly to the overall war effort. Okay, now it is time to discuss some of the finest and bravest females who worked as nurses during the Second World War. These women were at the very thick of things, treating the injured and sometimes facing danger themselves. With their medical training and sheer determination, they were able to save many lives. The Red Cross and other medical corps were filled with women working under extreme pressure in the most dangerous environments. These women survived the bombings of towns, the attacks of advancing enemy troops, and many other aspects of warfare while giving care and support to the wounded and the dying. Take Lathorne Elsie Ott, for example. For her services in air evacuations, she was the first woman to be awarded the Air Medal. These women were stationed in mobile facilities near the fighting and had the important task of providing swift treatment to soldiers injured in the warfare, which often determined their chances of survival. Their unwavering commitment and expertise were instrumental in sustaining morale and ensuring the best possible outcomes amidst the chaos of war. Women also received tasks that were earlier performed by men, for instance, mechanics and engineers. They repaired airplanes, maintained tanks, and ensured the engines of war were properly functioning. Their technical expertise was critical, especially when their male counterparts were away fighting on the front lines. In factories, women produced munitions, assembled aircraft, and built ships. This industrial contribution was vital to the war effort, ensuring that soldiers had the equipment and supplies needed to continue fighting. The Night Witches were one of the most incredible units of female soldiers, or the 588th Night Bomber Regiment of the Soviet Air Force. These women used old biplanes on risky night sorties, leaving the German side trembling with fear. Even though they lacked sufficient tanks, their courage and accuracy earned them recognition as one of the best units of the Soviet Air Force. They completed over 30,000 missions during the war and became an important part of the Soviet military strategy. The Night Witches, led by Major Marina Raskova, flew using very frail biplanes made of wood and canvas that were constructed to be used in dusting crops. These planes lacked communication equipment, did not carry life jackets, and were slow, rendering them vulnerable. However, the pilots converted their disadvantages into advantages. Flying at low altitudes and shutting off their engines, they glided towards their targets and dropped their explosives before fleeing back. The Germans were so much in fear of them that they began to cultivate a phobia and even feared the sound of the aeroplanes. Now let's proceed to what the topic of spies is all about. Women like Christina Skarbek and Noor Inayat Khan Another female agent was Christina, who was working for the British Special Operations Executive and is also known by her codename Christine Granville. Her actions, including an incredible prison escape and significant intelligence gathering, made her one of the war's most famous spies. Christina employed language skills and disguise while working undercover to collect intelligence and hinder the activities of the Nazis. Furthermore, one of the best-known operations was in 1944, in which she disguised herself as a Gestapo agent, but managed to secure the release of other agents. The last Indian spy from the Makbul family, Noor Inayat Khan, was a very well-known British Indian agent who was operating in occupied France as a radio operator. She continued working at her post even though the Gestapo was closing in on her and sent crucial information until she was finally caught. While Noor died in Dachau, she was awarded the George Cross, the second highest honor in Britain, for her courage and dedication. However, such bravery came at a great cost. 
female soldiers, if captured, faced brutal and often fatal consequences. The rights of female combatants protected under the Geneva Conventions were disregarded by the Nazis. Captured individuals were often shot dead or transported to concentration camps to be subjected to horrifying conditions. One chilling order issued by the Nazis was the execution of captured female soldiers on site. This was particularly true on the Eastern Front, where female Soviets were simply executed rather than captured alive. The condition of these women and the things that were done to them are grim reminders of the effects of war and the inhumanity of human beings. For instance, Soviet female snipers and partisans, when caught by the Nazis, were immediately killed. Their bodies were displayed as warnings to others. Male prisoners were killed in gas chambers, while female prisoners were used for torture in concentration camps through medical experiments. Nazi specialists such as Josef Mengele performed surgeries where patients were operated on without anesthesia and had their limbs or faces removed. These women were subjected to operations that were not only baseless, but performed with sheer perversion and wickedness. But it was clear that these women were strong and brave in the face of such horrors. Looking at examples like Christina Skarbek, who escaped imprisonment, or Noor Inayat Khan, who continued fighting despite torture, one cannot but mention their great willpower. Indeed, these women died not only for their countries, but for the liberty and dignity of mankind. For instance, Christina Skarbek, a spy in World War II, used her intelligence and beauty to evade the enemy several times. Her best-known escape was when she gnawed through ropes that tied her and tricked a guard into setting her free, as she was a source of important information. Noor Inayat Khan, although subjected to terrible torture, refused to speak to her captors and maintained her courage despite her suffering, ultimately being executed. The actions of these women inspired many generations that came after them. Today, women take part in all branches of the military and hold once unimaginable positions. Their legacy is a powerful message about the role and significance of women in the military forces. They paved the way and created examples that future generations can follow with pride. Women today fly fighter planes, navigate naval ships, and lead armies into war. This is a clear demonstration of their progress and serves as a tribute to those who fought during WRS. When reflecting on the many sacrifices made, it is also important to acknowledge the efforts that were made. By looking at the lives of these women, we can remember the stories of the strength of the human spirit and the constant struggle for justice and women's rights. They have engraved their legacy in history, and this legacy will encourage many to strive forward. To recap, we've delved into the incredible bravery and tragic experiences of female soldiers during World War II. Many struggled to survive and fight for their freedom and even the lives of their loved ones, and these brave tales remain relevant in the present. If you like this video, then please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can get more videos on such topics. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and remember to honor the legacy of these remarkable women.